on today's episode of the Cryptoverse. I'm going to walk you through the step-by-step -step process of accessing your Bitcoin Cash on a Ledger Nano S hardware wallet. So stay tuned for that. Hi there guys, welcome to the latest episode of the Cryptoverse, your regular dose of news and commentary on Bitcoin, cryptocurrencies and blockchains. I'm your host, Chris Coney, the founder of Cryptoversity, the online school where you can learn about Bitcoin, cryptocurrencies and blockchains. Find out more at Cryptoversity.com. So I promise to walk you step by step through the process of claiming your Bitcoin cash on a Ledger Nano S. So let's go ahead and do that. Now there are a few things that you will need in order to successfully complete this process. One is you'll need a Ledger Nano S hardware wallet, of course. You'll also need to have had some Bitcoin on your Ledger Nano S at the point when the chain split. You must have had the Bitcoin in the wallet at that point, otherwise you don't get any Bitcoin cash. So if you had one Bitcoin stored in your Ledger Nano S at the moment when the chain split, you will get one Bitcoin cash. So the other thing you will need is the Ledger apps. If you don't have them, you go to ledgerwallet.com, click on apps on the main menu, and you'll need the Ledger Manager app here. This is a Chrome app, and you'll need the Ledger Bitcoin Wallet app, which is also a Google Chrome app. So install both of those, and then they will appear in the Google Chrome apps section of your Google Chrome web browser. If you can't find these, you can just type into the address bar, Chrome, colon forward slash forward slash apps and it will bring you to this screen anyway. So the other thing you'll do after you've got to this stage is you'll open the Ledger Manager app and this will display a list of apps you can install on the device itself. Now make sure when you click the Ledger Manager app that you've got the device unlocked and sat on the main menu. You don't want to be inside any of the coin apps on the device itself. Otherwise, this app won't load on Google Chrome. So if you're inside an app already in the Ledger Nano S device, just quit the app and sit on the main menu, and then you'll see this. What you'll notice then is that there's a Bitcoin Cash app that you can install on the device, and that's what we want to do. We click on the green download button, and that will install that Bitcoin Cash app on the device. What will happen then is, on the main menu of the device, which I'm looking at here, you get two Bitcoin apps on the device. You get Bitcoin, and if I click to the right, Bitcoin Cash. Pretty good. So that's the first step in that process. Once you've got the Bitcoin Cash app appearing on the main menu of the device, you can close this Ledger Manager app because we're done with that. Then we need to go and open up the Bitcoin Wallet app in Google Chrome, which is there, Ledger Wallet app Bitcoin load that up. That's now going to say please connect and unlock the Ledger Nano. It is unlocked but I haven't opened one of the apps on the device. At this point we want to open up this brand new Bitcoin Cash app that I've installed on the device. So if I open that up it's going to recognize it and say which Bitcoin chain do you want to use. We're going to choose Bitcoin Cash. Then it asks which wallet do we want to use the main wallet or the split wallet. We're going to click on Split Wallet. Now when you see this for the first time, you'll notice that my account has a balance. It says 2.5 Bitcoin Cash. The first time you come into this Split Wallet, it should be zero. Right? The only reason mine is showing a balance is because I've already gone through this process and claimed my Bitcoin Cash. So this is actually where we're going to manage our Bitcoin Cash from in the future. And what we're going to do, we're going to send our Bitcoin Cash to this wallet from elsewhere. So follow me on this. Next, what you'll do is click on receive and you want to make a note of the receiving address for your Bitcoin Cash split wallet. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to load up a notepad file and just paste it in there, then minimize the window. Now I can close the receive window and now what I want to do is go to the Bitcoin Cash main wallet. To do that, we go settings, blockchains, click on Bitcoin Cash again, but then when it asks to select a wallet, we go to the main wallet. Now this is where 
it will show you what your Bitcoin balance was at the point when the chain split. You can see on mine it says zero for the main account and zero on my other account because I've already moved the Bitcoin cash out to my split wallet. But what you will do is you have to do this once, once for each of the accounts you have here, right? So we're actually going to send a transaction. It does cost you a transaction fee, but this is disconnecting the private key between your Bitcoin and your Bitcoin cash. It's just more secure. So just spend the spend the small transaction fee to finish this process and it will be much more secure. So what we do is we would click on my account. You click on send. I would click on how much you want to send. Click max if you want to send all of your Bitcoin cash out. Then when it says what's the recipient's Bitcoin address, this is where we go bring up the notepad and we take the address that we got from the Bitcoin Cash split wallet and we copy and paste that into the transaction details, set a transaction fee and click send. So you do that once for each of the accounts and then it will submit that those transactions to the Bitcoin Cash blockchain. So once you've done that once for each of the accounts, you can go back to settings again, click on blockchains, click on Bitcoin Cash and go back into the split wallet. And as you can see on mine, this split wallet has received two transactions. One was the balance from my main account and the other one was just some um, income that I got from a Genesis mining contract, but that's why I have two transactions. I had two accounts. I did one transaction for each one to send it to my new Bitcoin Cash split wallet. And now they've arrived and they've been confirmed. So you never need to use that Bitcoin main, or sorry, the Bitcoin Cash main wallet again now. That was just for the transfer process. Now you've got this Bitcoin Cash split wallet. You've got a separate private key for your Bitcoin Cash and a separate private key for your Bitcoin. So that's why it's much more secure to do it this way. So there we go. That is the process. If um, if you've got any suspicion about me misguiding you on this process, what I will do here is I will link to this article in the video description. Here it is. This comes directly from the Ledger Wallet uh, company themselves. This is an article off their website. This is the exact process that I use to claim my Bitcoin Cash. The steps I've just gone through with you came directly from this um, guide. So I've just turned it into a video rather than you reading it step by step in a list. However, if you want to scrutinize it to make sure that I have not misled you in any way, check out this article. Make sure that I am guiding you through the steps. The only benefit of me doing a video about it is you can see the screens and what to click on rather than just a list of steps on a web page. So there we go. Thanks very much for joining me today, guys. If you like this episode, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're new around here, get subscribed. And if you would like access to my very best material, such as my structured online courses, where you can learn how to make and save money with Bitcoin, check out Cryptoversity.com. All right, guys, I'll be back on Monday with another edition of the Cryptoverse news and commentary show, which today was a tutorial. And on Monday, I'll be back with another edition of the Market Roundup. So until then, it's me, Chris Coney, saying bye for now.